number 25. I guess that would tell some kind of story, that little piece of paper with 25 written on it. Oh, there's another one, 25. Oh, oh, I remember seeing this before. This looks like it's been uh, repaired with epoxy here. Yikes. Wow, what uh, what the heck would happen to this? Protected under this big chassis, uh, hidden away inside a jukebox. Yikes! And there's the on/off switch. It sticks out the back of the jukebox in this little box. You just kind of reach around and stick your finger in. Nobody would know it's there unless they already knew it was there. Okay, so we plugged in the credit and cancel unit into the selection receiver. Now, last time I tried this, I ended up with a bright light. Okay, so the power's off on the panel. light bulb just just this one in the back here okay now what should I be looking at uh, the light comes on stays bright you see the great thing is I don't have to stare at that light bulb what I should be looking at is what's going on down here especially with this brown wire here we go <laughs> success. Great. So the light is on a little bit. As if something's taking some uh, some power. Okay, so turn it off. Well, I guess there's the tube here. Oop. The tube perhaps. 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so 20, 21. Okay, so let's see what we get right here. 21. Well, certainly nothing dramatic going on. Hard to feel the temperature of something like that. I don't feel any heat in there at all. Okay, hey, now the fun part. Let's power it back on. Remember I bumped a bunch of wires in there. Perfect. So I think what we'll do is we'll push that white button is supposed to imitate a, a uh, coin coming in. So what should happen is this big solenoid should jump. Can't quite see it on that uh, camera angle. There's a big solenoid here. Goes up into this coil. That should jump. And this um, wheel in here, which is also very hard to see, should spin. So I think. I really don't know what will happen when I push that button. So I'm going to keep my hand on the power switch over here. Push the button with a stick. That's how, that's how much of a chicken I actually am here. Okay, so 
I didn't, so this didn't operate. I think this one did. And I saw some kind of a, like a light down in here. Let's just try it once more quickly. Oh, it's not a light. It's a solenoid plunger came shooting out of here. Okay, which would reset that switch. didn't in any way advance the mechanism. Now, perhaps if the rest of the uh, unit was plugged in, don't feel any heat. Uh, maybe only when you have you know all these things plugged in everywhere. All the stuff back there. Uh, will this thing really behave the way it's supposed to behave? That'd be my guess. So that means if this were all plugged into the jukebox and sitting here, and I push this plunger, lots more would go on. Not with this part down here, though. All this is just from the wall boxes. This is the decoder system, if you like, for uh, for the pulses that come from the wall boxes. Well, you know, I, I'm just going to explain for a moment here clear my head and explain just for a moment what goes on with all these uh, roughly. From the wall boxes comes a chain of pulses. The pulses are actually grounds being put on a lead wire which runs all the way from the grid of this tube to all of the switch mechanisms in all the wall boxes. And what happens is when the switch mechanism in the wall box is operating, it's applying a ground to the grid of this tube on and off, or in a pulsating manner. So a particular song, let's say uh, B7, that will have a certain uh, train of uh, groundings, if I can put it that way. Each time the grid of this thing gets grounded, it allows current to flow, and it triggers a couple of these relays, which trigger other relays. And as the pulses come in uh, fairly rapidly, so the grounds come in at fairly rapidly. The, uh, ac the uh, action is transferred from the initial relay that it's triggering into this mechanism over here, which in fact, uh, uh, using a ratcheting technique, counts the number of pulses coming in. There's two trains, so there's two of these ratcheting devices. The first train is fed to one, the other train, next train is fed to another. and, and uh, Here you can see all these wires on the back are being selected as this thing rotates on a ratchet to where it's going. Whoa! Huh. That's right, there's power in this unit. Didn't that just give me a little bit of a fright? Okay. So it's very interesting uh, how this actually works to see all this electrical mechanical stuff, which you would think, uh, you know, how reliable can this be? And the fact is, here it is, built in 56, 1956, and here it is, 2015. And this is essentially uh, the same thing it was back in 1956, and here it is still operating. I mean, it looks rough. It looks to be in rough shape, and it has definitely had some bad moments. And it's got a few repairs here and there, of course. But uh, nothing really serious. It's not like the whole thing is shot. It's really impressive. And, I mean, you see when I pick it up how much all this stuff weighs. Of course, mostly because of these, but still, it has a great big heavy chassis. This thing was really built to, to run trouble-free, as much as it looks like something that would just give you never-ending trouble. Yeah. Well... I think that's all I can do in the shop here. I'm going to cut the power off to it. And uh, I think it's got to go back in the jukebox from here. So uh, well, that's, about, that's good. I think that's good. Except I really have no real reason to offer for why the wire burned in the first place. 
that's not so good. Well, hi, everybody. Here I am in the actual diner, and there's the jukebox in question. And you might be able to see I got the back of it open already. And uh, I've already taken a quick peek to see if there's a coin stuck in the coin machine. No, there's no coin stuck in the coin machine. <laughs> I was really hoping for that. So here, here's a look. That's the amplifier you're seeing there. The selection receiver is just sitting over here on a step, waiting, waiting to go into this big hole here. And here's the jumble of wires. And okay, here's the coin box here. And these are the coin switches right here. I don't want to touch them or disturb them. I really want to get in there and get a good close look at them. The coins drop out here down the slot and into the coin uh, box. And as they do, they strike some levers. When they strike the levers, the levers push these reed switches here. This is the wire that carries the, uh, the switch. I've never studied these things before, I never had any need to. There's a lot to this jukebox and I just concentrate on what I need to know. So here's, here's the plug. It goes into the top of the credit and cancel unit. It's a four pronger. You might remember, if you watch the videos, you might remember seeing the empty receptacle for it. It's got two wires, a red and a black, and they do make it all the way up to those switches. The other wires are just cut. Just cut. Not by me. Okay, now like I say, I've never looked at this particular element before. So you can only plug these in one way. It can't be plugged in wrong, and it, uh, the jukebox was operating and, uh, until I put the fateful coin in it and set it on fire. So, now, can we take a closer look at these switches? I mean, I don't just want to put the uh, uh, put the selection receiver back in and turn it on and watch smoke come out of it. So, uh, from what I can see, and it's really hard to see in there, the uh, none of those switches are stuck closed or anything. Now what I'll do is I'll take an ohmmeter reading on the end of this plug here. We'll see if there's a short. Now it's very awkward shooting video in here, so I'll just do my best. And, uh, there we go. Red and black. I, I don't know which of these four pins it's going to be. Let's just see if we can find a short in any combination in here. Check my meter. Yep. I'm not expecting a short to appear. That would make this whole thing too easy. No shorts. No shorts. No short there. Well, 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 well. What should I do here? think. Keep all junk off air intake screen important. What, all this junk? All this junk here. Yeah. Nice big speakers in this thing. I think all I can do now is uh, put the selection receiver in, connect it all up, swallow very deeply, and turn the unit on. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so that's it with the uh, back tipped back up, and I'm ready to put in the uh, selection receiver. Okay, so the selection receiver is in place, and you can see that it has these slots so it can slide this way, and when it does, this pin and the pin here line it up with the amplifier. This is the uh, high fidelity amplifier, and there's also a power plug that will get pushed into this receptacle here because all the power comes from here. This is a 
the, where the main power supply is built in this selection receiver. So I'm going to push that over and tighten down these screws here. In and lock down. And you can see the gap is closed here. Plug is engaged. The rest of the machine. Now, there's a whole pile of stuff to plug in on the other side. Okay, so the way this opens up is it simply swings down on some broken hinges at the bottom. So I have to stick my foot here. Keep it from falling right out. It's not light. There we go. I stuck it on my foot, unfortunately. There we go. Okay, now. Here's my theory. Maybe I should try plugging stuff in one item at a time. And power this thing up after each item. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to be plugged in. Wires to be connected here to a connector. And is that, is that a good thing to do? I gotta think about this a little bit. Okay, after giving a bit of thought to it, um, even though this looks like one machine, this whole piece here, the whole selection receiver, it's really three things in one. Uh, each one having not a lot to do with the other. So one part is just the transformer uh, supplying power. Another part is this, the credit cancel unit, uh, which works when coins are dropped into the main jukebox and in, into that coin machine over there. Otherwise this doesn't operate if you drop coins into a wall box. An example of a wall box. There's a wall box right there. Drop a coin in there and make a selection. It's all these relays here that operate. Not that one. So um, the only connections on this is the one underneath, which is already connected, and these two. As far as I know, all the rest of these plugs are preoccupied, so to speak, with this mechanism here. And how far do I know? I really don't know that far. So what I have in mind is to power this thing up step by step, Power it up first with nothing plugged in, just like it was in my shop. Make sure nothing's happened just on the way here. Then plug in the coin cord, which I've checked for shorts. There aren't any. See what happens. Then plug in this cord here. Where this is going exactly, I, you know, offhand, I don't know. Then with these two things plugged in, power it up and see if smoke comes, comes out. Yeah, I don't, you know, hey, it's not a good idea to test things by seeing if smoke comes out, but I don't know what other options I've got here. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm sitting here very, very nervous about plugging this in. Uh, when I do, the whole unit will be energized, uh, even without, well, Maybe parts of it won't be energized yet, but the amplifier here will be energized. Right, right here, right there. Um, other, other components may not be energized, in fact. Well, it's just not going to get any easier stand, standing here, so I might as well plug it in. Now, it shouldn't do anything. Um, and if I push this button, as I did back in my shop, I should just activate the one relay a little bit. Uh, boy, I am nervous. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Nothing bad so far. So you can see the uh, tubes have lit up. You can see the heaters in them. Okay, so far. Heat. Oh, just that scared me. <laughs> it's the air conditioner coming on in the uh, restaurant here. <laughs> yes, I'm a nervous guy. Now, I could just start plugging stuff in one thing at a time. 
uh, I don't know what to expect. If that might put the machine in some kind of sad operating state it should never be in. So all the plugs in or none of them in. I can pull the power plug out, plug, plug these two guys in, plug one of them in. Yeah, let's do that. I'll pull the plug out, plug is out, and I will plug in the coin switches, which is what I was so suspicious about. But it looks to me like there's absolutely nothing going on here. Get this plugged in. There's only one way to plug it in. Yeah, there's something I can't do wrong. How do you like that? Okay, now I'm nervously plug in the unit again. Nothing should happen. Nothing has happened. Excellent. Okay. Now, pull the plug out of the wall again. Plug in this plug here. Look at all this stuff. Okay. Uh, is that it? No, I think that one goes down here. What about this one? That could be it. Yep, that's it. Where is that actually going? It's going up to the electrical selector up above. So, here we go again. Okay, when I put the coin in, it was literally two seconds and there was smoke coming out the back so if something's gonna happen it's gonna happen fast on here geez am I I'm just so I'm so nervous about this okay here we go three two one Wires warm. Oh, there's smoke coming out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, let me flip this up as quick as I can. We'll see if we can figure out what it is. Sorry about the camera shot, but the plug is out of the wall. Do anything rash now, Jim. Just take your time. You can always make it smoke again. What the heck? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Up we go. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where'd that smoke come from? It, it came out in this area here. on super close-ups here, but there's a totally burned wire here. The wire up above that I uh, replaced, I put my fingers on it, seemed to me it was warming up. And just as I was contemplating pulling the plug, all this smoke came out. Oh 
boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, man. Boy, this is scary stuff. You know, I am not a professional jukebox repairman here. I am not a factory trained guy. But... Well, I guess so we can sit and stare at this thing for quite a while. I think it's got to go back home. And we have to pursue what... Uh, have to pursue what's going on with this wire.